Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123. This is going to be a spend the day with me vlog. So hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I've uploaded new videos and also when I'm doing live streams. So today is Wednesday. The time is about quarter past nine and I'm in town here in the lovely South End dod see got my arista cats t-shirt on today <laughs> by the way i know that i've really messed up my fringe it's awful look at it it's i don't know what i've done to it it's really short up there but then it's long in the middle it's just yeah i never let anyone cut my fringe because i'm always paranoid that they're going to mess it up ironically i have now messed it up myself but um yeah i'm going to try and sort it out a little bit when i get home but anyway Got my little trolley with me, my little suitcase on wheels. I know people laugh that I use that. However, it really does help me when I'm shopping because back in the day I'd have all my shopping bags and it'd be super heavy and I'd always like hurt my back or my arms or something. And now, no, I get stuff, I put it in there and I wheel it along. It's really good. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Oh my God, look at all those birds over there. Ah. Loads of seagulls, pigeons. Someone's put some food down and they are just going wild. Look at them all. <laughs> oh my God, sorry. I'm all right over here, but I'm, I'm a little bit scared of birds. More so the seagulls actually than the pigeons because they're huge. Anyway, here's one of the elephants from the herd in the city, which is going on in South End and surrounding areas. This is for charity, Haven's Hospice and uh, it's really cool there's these like elephant sculptures scattered around and they've all got different like, artwork on them honestly they're so cool and they're all very different as well different artists have done them so obviously you know it's, it's all going to look different and stuff um but yeah there's like a little code that you can get there's an app that you download and you can do like a trail and you know see how many you can find of the elephants uh, look out for a video soon there will be a video that i'm doing with all the elephants that i can get to um so you get to see them in detail and stuff look this one's got books on it yay <laughs> but they're just absolutely stunning they're so cool um, and yeah it's a really lovely thing for charity as well um so yeah here's an elephant for you That was a success i've got loads of things some bits for ebay so yeah if you don't know i'm an ebay reseller so charity shops always good to find stuff to sell on and um, but also some stuff for me so uh yeah it's pretty nice i love that shop they're always so friendly in there and you do get some decent things and they're not too expensive compared to some of the other charity shops about they're just ridiculous prices so uh yeah that was good and now my trolley is completely filled can you see it like bulging out <laughs> oh my I think though if that would have been in like carrier bags oh man that would have just like been so heavy so yes this is perfect for me really helps me out okay so i've got to go to victoria plaza now to poundland it's really sad seeing all these closed down shops. I mean, Mixtures was there for absolutely years, did all like jewellery and stuff like that, makeup, and then oh, Just Desserts, they've closed down as well. It's just sad, like, you know, all these shops, and in the High Street as well, like, a lot of the shops are closed down and stuff, but, uh, oh well, it is what it is, but it just makes me sad seeing that. Uh, anyway, I'm just in the Victoria Plaza. Oh, looks like they've got the, uh, the massage chairs. <laughs> Was it a pound for five minutes? That's a bargain. But um, 
yeah <laughs> obviously no one's in them at the sec i'm kind of tempted to try it but then if i didn't like it i'd be like no <laughs> i remember years ago sitting in one of these similar kind of thing massage chairs and it was just like they give me a headache it was so like tingly and weird i was like oh it's like vibrating to the max oh there's another elephant oh so cute but as I say, there will be an actual video of all the elephants that I can get to, so look out for that. Heading into Poundland. My mum wants me to get her some batteries. Just booking me seats for Barbie. Okay, so I'm at home now. I've been home about an hour or so. Um, I had some breakfast. I emptied the dishwasher. And I was listening to some messages that my friends had left me on Facebook Messenger and replying to them back and forth kind of thing. Um, and yeah, just been kind of resting up and relaxing, really. Nathan be home from work any minute now. Um, he's just messaged me to say that um, he's on the way back from work, so it'd be good to see him. Um, in a bit, I'll film a quick little like mini haul just to show you what I got from the charity shop this morning. Uh, some of the bits for myself, some of the bits for eBay. Um talking about ebay i just done really bad on sunday like honestly like money wise like just useless loads of things didn't sell and if they did sell they didn't really go for a high amount and i was like mm. but you know you get that some weeks are really good on ebay some weeks just really bad it just it just depends i don't know um but hey it is what it is just gotta keep at it um but yeah i've got some nice bits nice bits in the charity shop today so i'll show you those in a bit um rest of the afternoon i don't know what i'm doing i want to do a lot of reading i uh i just want to have an afternoon of just pure like just like even a, just like a couple of hours of pure reading like not doing anything else not watching tv not doing this not doing that just reading um i'm reading such a good book at the moment it's so good i will show you it and tell you about it in a minute but um yeah it's a really really good thriller it's a ya thriller and it's just so exciting and gripping i just i need to read it and finish it today to find out what happens um so yes, a bit of reading. I might do a little bit of filming. Um, my kind of goal this week is to just get at least at least one video done a day. Um, I do find it so difficult to motivate myself for filming. Honestly, it's really annoying. But um, anyway, yes, I'll try and do one at least video today. Um, and then, yeah, maybe watch like a ghosty show with Nathan. There's no Ghost Adventures this week. It's apparently it's Shark Week. Um, <laughs> So because of that, they cancel Ghost Adventures, but it'll be back next week, apparently. Um, but we do have Destination Fear, uh, or sorry, Project Fear, that we watch on the weekend. So uh, at least we'll have something. I didn't like it at first. Basically, I used to, well, me, me and Nathan used to watch Destination Fear every week. We loved it um, on Discovery+. Plus. Then Discovery+, Plus cancelled it. Everyone went really, really mad and angry. Um, and the people from the show kind of done this... Um, Thing where they said they would go over to YouTube instead. So um, I saw we started watching it on YouTube, and we were just I don't know like really sad because it just didn't feel the same. Um, the, the people in it like they just felt I don't know kind of like showing off a bit, a bit too screamy, a bit loud, a bit showy offy, and I was like, oh, they've really changed. Or maybe they hadn't changed. Maybe where they were on TV, they had to kind of tone themselves down or what have you. But um, Anyway, so the first episode I wasn't keen. Second episode, they seem to have kind of gone back to themselves a bit more. And I was like, okay, cool. And then as we've watched and watched, they have definitely just gone back to being themselves. I mean, they're, you know, look, they're still a little bit loud compared to when they were on the TV show. But, you know, they're only young. They're having fun. Like, good luck to them. I'm just a moody old cow. Um, but their investigations are very, very good. And also with the YouTube one... Like on the TV show, you'd only get like, I don't know, 10 minutes or five minutes sometimes of where they were overnight, like sleeping and you'd get the evidence. But now you get it in like a whole sort of 40, 50 minutes episode. So you get longer. So it is worth it. Um, I think they're better off on YouTube as well. I think there's less hassle. They've got more, you know, uh, control, less restrictions and they get loads of money. I mean, literally there's, they've got their own like fear club. They've got um, merchandise, like, you know, all the adverts they get. Actually, that's the only thing I do find really irritating with it being on YouTube. So many adverts throughout, like, one episode is, like, I don't know, 50 minutes. And there's literally, like, I don't know, seven adverts or something, which is a lot in one show. Um, 
but they're just trying to make that money, money, I suppose. But especially if you're watching a ghost show, you're already sort of on edge and, you know, ready to get scared. And they could be in, like, a really quiet bit, you know, where they're hunting with a torch and all that. And then all of a sudden, boom, there's an advert for a lipstick or something comes on. I'm like, ah. Oh. But apart from that, I'm enjoying the uh, series. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Anyway, right, I'm going to go. I'll see you in a bit. As I say, I'll do a quick little haul, just show you what I got from the charity shop. And I will tell you and show you about my current read. Okie dokie, who is ready for a shopping haul? Let's do this. So um, all of this is from the charity shop apart from these two books. So we'll start with those first. These are brand new. I've got this one in Sainsbury's. It's by Julie Mae Cohen and it's called Bad Men. Uh, this is supposed to be really, really funny, like very dark humour. Um, it's a tough job, but someone's got to kill them. It's about this woman who's a serial killer and, yeah, it's kind of, as I say, very dark humour. The minute I heard about this book and I saw the picture online, I was like, I need this in my life. And I found it in Sainsbury's, uh, which was a bargain. So got that one. And then also I got Bea Fitzgerald's Girl, Goddess, Queen. This book is everywhere like literally people are raving about this book um and look at the pretty oh my god this is amazing the pretty pink edges look at that that is gorgeous um so in waterstones this is like 15 quid um and my local library didn't have it i saw it in the works for seven pound 50 so i mean i think that is a very good bargain brand spanking new hardcover and look under here this is so pretty look at that oh um it's yeah it's kind of like what is it greek mythology and stuff which i know i'm not really into but i'm willing to learn <laughs> i've read so many like retellings of like greek mythology stuff and i'm always a bit like who's this what did they do and then it's like oh okay okay but um yeah i'm really interested in this book and it is just stunning like it's so pretty um and as i say people are just raving and raving about it nice big font as well which is good um i think this is a series if i remember rightly but um yeah i couldn't resist it for that price and the pink sprayed edges are just gorgeous so yeah all right now on to the clothing which i got uh for ebay now some of the bits i did get for myself i've tried those on um one of them i'm keeping and two of them are just going to go on ebay anyway which is fine i always do that if it's for me i think right if it doesn't fit I'll just put it on eBay. It's fine. Uh, right, where should we start? We'll go with this uh, top here. Nice dog tooth or hound tooth, whatever you want to call it. Um, now, it does look kind of purple in this colour, but it is blue. Um, yeah, blue and black. And uh, it's a size 26 from Marks & Spencer. So I got that for eBay. And I've got this. Uh, well, no, this one I got for myself, £2.50. It's from Pep & Co XL. Um, and it's this really nice kind of khaki colour. And I thought, oh, that's smart. And I really liked like the sleeves and stuff. But when I put it on, it was just, oh, it just didn't look nice. It just didn't look nice. So that can go on eBay. Um, also, this as well I got for me. But it was, it's just way too baggy. Now, don't get me wrong. I do like a baggy top, a loose fitting top. So I don't feel like restricted in that. But this was just silly. It looked like a sack on me. Uh, this was £3.50. And it's like this um, kind of dark, ready, whiny colour top uh from boohoo so yeah size 24 i knew it was going to be a bit big but i thought sometimes it, it looks nice a bit big but that didn't anyway <laughs> right next up for ebay i got this dress here this i think if i remember yeah it was new with tags this is from a company called glamorous 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 um this was six pound fifty and what size was it hold on i can't remember oh size 22 um, and it's brand new with tags and it's this lovely green dress with like all these pink flowers on and stuff so hopefully that'll do well and this dress is awesome i really wish <laughs> really wish this was my size because i absolutely freaking love it this is so my kind of print it's so bold and it's just bright and it's just, i don't know it's giving me 80s vibe but also giving me stained glass windows vibe yeah, I don't know. But anyway, uh, this is a size 16 and it's from, um, is it Jolie Moy? Is that how you say it? Or Jolie Moy? I'm not sure. Uh, I paid 5 50 for this. Now, I was thinking, oh, I could just film like a few ASMR videos in this, you know, just for a nice thumbnail. <laughs> but when I tried to put it on, it was like, it was not going over. It was not happening. So I was like, no, okay. So that's gone on eBay straight away, which is sad you know um anyway next up we have this like leather look skirt pvc leather look kind of thing this is lovely color like this green color um this uh five pound size 22 brand new with the tags from asos curve there we go 
Um, and that charity shop that I went in do do, um, obviously, second-hand stuff, but they do do a range of, like, brand new with tag stuff as well. I don't know if they're in, like work with boohoo or something and zara because there's quite a few bits of boohoo there every time i go in there i've always got loads of boohoo and zara stuff um next up from new look new look curve size 22 this little top here like a peach color polka dot top and now i really really like this but i've got something so similar uh this is a dress i got this for 550 um still got the tags on size 18 from pep and co and I do find, apart from the odd thing now and again, Pep and Chloe co clothing, like their dresses, really fit me well. Um, and I really like them. But I don't know. I've got something really similar to this, this denim one. But to be fair, that's a light denim. This is more like um kind of dark stonewash denim. I don't know. Maybe I should try it on before I get rid of it. But yeah, if not, it will go on eBay. But it's really cool. I like the tiers of it, you know, the little sort of layers. and Yeah. Anyway, we'll try it on. We'll see. We'll see. But um, I do find that um, Poundland dresses, like Pep and Co dresses, do fit me really well. So we'll see before that goes. Uh, what else? Oh, got this top here for £3.50. This nice bright red and white kind of floral print. Uh, what else we got? Uh, £5.50. It was this New Look Inspire 22. And this is this really cool butterfly dress. Now, I always say this when it comes to butterflies. I think butterflies are absolutely beautiful creatures. I'm just scared of them. <laughs> I don't like insects flying at me or birds flying at me. I'm like, ugh. But this is a really pretty dress, actually. Um, then I've got this dress here with the uh, heart, so it's black and white. Originally, I thought it was just polka dot because I saw the, the spots and that. And then I was like, oh, no, there's hearts all over it as well. So that's cool. Um, yeah, size 22 from, I think this was New Look as well. Possibly. I can't remember. Ah. Where's the tag? Here we go. Du, du, du. Yeah, new look inspire, size 22. So yeah, you've got the polka dots, but you've also got the hearts as well. Uh, got this check top here from Peacock, size 22. That was 350. And I also got this uh, red lace skirt, brand new with the tags from Primark, size 20. And I paid two quid for that. That's a bargain. How much was it originally? So I'm looking. Ah, so originally it was £10 in Primark, then it got reduced in the sales section for 3 and now it's back here for £2 in the charity shop. This is actually a really nice dress, like a skirt. I'm looking at it thinking, actually, this is really nice. <laughs> what is it? I was supposed to be selling things, I was supposed to be making profit. But this, can you imagine this at like Halloween? All you'd have to do is put like a red vest with it and you could be a devil. That is an outfit right there. I might try this skirt on. Gold, I'm supposed to be selling stuff. Um, right, the top that I did keep for myself was this bright pink one, uh, size 22 from M & Co. Um, I'm really gutted, actually, because when me and Nathan went to Rayleigh a few weeks ago, um, well, about a month ago now, um, we we were going to go into it. Well, I don't think he was that bothered. I was really bothered to go into the Rayleigh M & Co because they do lots of plus-size clothing. But they'd shut down, so that's sad. But apparently there's rumours, I read in the uh, local news, that they might open the M & Co stores up again nationwide so if they do maybe they'll open the same shop but yeah i've never been to an m and co but i always sell loads of m and co clothing on ebay it's really weird um but anyway yeah so this pink top it looks in this light it doesn't look as pink but trust me it's very very like bright pink and i want to do like a barbie themed asmr video for my other channel don't forget by the way check out minx laura 123 asmr Links down below to my other channel. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking this pink top, long blonde wig. I'm sure I've got a long blonde wig somewhere. Bit of pink lipstick. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do. Um, so yeah, that is all the eBay stuff. But I also picked up this book for my uh, dad's partner, Jan. It's her birthday, a couple of days after mine, actually. Uh, Monsters Who Murder. True Stories of the World's Most Evil Serial Killers by Al Kimo, how do you say that? Simona, Simona, Kimona. Anyway, but yeah, that is it. There was another true crime. If you're interested in true crime books in the works, I've just got uh, a new selection of crime and, and stuff books there. So yeah, four quid, I thought was a bargain. It says it was 9 99 now, four pound. But yeah, I think this is cool. I mean, I'm not a reader of like, you know, true crime books. I have watched the odd like true crime documentary and stuff. I used to go through a stage of watching them quite a bit, but then I started to develop horrible like nightmares and anxiety when I was watching them and uh, I had to stop, honestly. Me and Nathan used to watch a show called, oh, what is it? It's Still a Mystery, Still a Mystery. 
and yeah I, I i find the stories intriguing and interesting but also very sad and also just really like just horrible and obviously i don't like it when they go into like the gory descriptions of the murders and oh, it's just uh, i don't know but true crime is a big thing um but yeah, anyway, so Jan is really into her true crime. She loves her true crime books. So um, when they come around for my birthday next week, um, she'll be giving me presents and I'll be giving her presents. So it's all good. <laughs> but yeah, I got her this book. But we also got, when we down the seafront the other week, uh, we got her this little, it's like a shopping list with a pen on it that says Jan's list or Jan's shopping list, something like that. So she'll be sorted. Um, but yeah, so that is the haul. Now I'm going to quickly show you my current read god it's a right mess look at my drawers all open behind me look at that it's terrible um yeah let me tell you about my current read so this is called how to die famous by benjamin dean now i'm not gonna lie i read uh, the king is dead you can see it at the back there uh last year and i ended up dnf in it so i just was not feeling it at all um and i was like mm. when i saw this book i was like oh that sounds really good and then i saw the author was and i was like hmm um, it's not like personal it's just whenever i've read a book from someone i end up DN like dnf in it i.e not finishing reading it um it doesn't give me much hope because i think mm, you know is it their writing style etc but i thought no you know what i'm going to give them another go because this book sounds so good um and i have to say i am pleasantly you know i'm very happy to say very surprised because this book is fantastic it's so good um yeah how to die famous celebrity comes at a deadly price um, so I, you know what I think in the future I said to Nathan I might actually try and give that other book a chance like King is Dead because I think now I've got used to his kind of writing style and that I might be like okay all right you never know I might like it second time out so I'm going to tell you quickly what it's about um, it said what would you risk to be famous Abel is living double life he's Hollywood's latest prodigy about to star in a huge blockbuster and an undercover journalist determined to do an expose is that right no, yeah, to do an expose on the entertainment ind industry's biggest secrets, namely the one concealing his brother's death. Uh, catapulted into the spotlight, Abel quickly finds himself embroiled in a dark world of secrecy, scandal and murder. When everyone has something to hide, who can you trust when the cameras are no longer rolling? So yeah, it's really, really good. Um, it's kind of giving me the vibes of like, do you remember Beverly Hills 90210? Imagine that. But then every time they go and do like a reboot of the original show, uh, someone gets cursed on it, you know, like one of the actors or people who work on it. And so, yeah, this is like the newest reboot. And this guy, this Abel is the main character. But yeah, it's just it's really, really good. So um, he's obviously, as I've just said, he's also not only the actor in the show, but he's like an undercover journalist. So he's trying to find like dish the dirt on the other stars and stuff. And also I find out about the curse and. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Also, there's different point of views um, from the different characters in it, which I'm really enjoying because I'm getting to know each character and each of their kind of secrets and stuff. So, yeah, I'm really, really good. Really good book. So hopefully I'll get this finished today. I'm currently on, uh, well, I'm just about to start chapter 17. So, um, yeah, I might get this done today. Look, might do. Anyhow, right. So I'm going to put my phone on charge because it needs charging. And I think I'm going to go see if Nathan wants to watch uh, something spooky um, or something, something. Do you fancy watching something spooky on YouTube? Is it one of your videos? It's not one of my videos, Cheek. All right, then. That's very rude. <laughs> oh, my. But, yeah, maybe a bit of Bizarre Barb or, I don't know, probably Nuke's Top 5 hasn't uploaded anything yet, but... Um, slapped ham we'll find something we'll find something scary to watch and then yeah i just literally want to chill for a few hours and have a read and then um try and do some filming even if it's like one video i don't care i just want something done for the day that i know i've you know, motivated myself to film a video <laughs> apart from this one obviously so i'll see you lovely people in a bit So we are just about to watch The Proof Is Out There, or as I normally call it, The Proof Is Out Here, because <laughs> I always get it wrong, but it is The Proof Is Out There, there. Um, which is basically lots of clips of weird stuff, like videos, paranormal, uh, mysteries, strange, strange things, yeah, just everything weird uh, and myths. wonderful, yeah. yeah, and basically a group of people, like professionals, say if it's fake or real, yeah. well, what they think, yeah. 
what they think. So the time is now half past eight. Um, I haven't vlogged for like hours, sorry about that. But I did just relax. I had a little nap this afternoon. Had a raid. Uh, had a raid. Yeah, I finished my book. So, yep, it is done. I finished that. That was quite good, actually. I got a lot done. Um, How to Die Fam Famous by Benjamin Dean. I give it a four stars on Goodreads. So it's quite good. It was very good, four it's stars. Very good, yeah. Like five. Yeah. But the only reason I didn't give it a five, it was, there was a few things I thought was a bit obvious. But that could be that I'm just used to reading so many thrillers. But, no, really good. I definitely would read more from him in the future. So that is that. I've got two new books here, but I'll show you them in a bit. I bought two down, and I'm not sure what I'm going to read next. I think I'm no, but I'm not sure, so I'll decide in a bit. But first of all, we're going to watch The Proof Is Out There. Okay, everyone, so it's the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. The time is now 5 to 11, and I have my new book. I have decided to go with a new book from Karen McManus. Um, this is the final one, actually, in the uh, One of Us is Lying trilogy. Um, so, yeah, and look at the spread edges. Couldn't resist that. Love the red spread edges. Anyway, but, yeah, we watched our show. Um, I don't know, it was all right. Yeah. Them sounds under the water are a bit weird yeah. and a bit, uh, a bit, uh, yeah, um, and explain. Yeah, I like the fact that some of the stuff is proven, to, like even though they get experts to look into it, it's still unexplained. Um, also, talking about unexplained, a lot of uh, stuff going on at the moment in America concerning the UFO files and what's his name, Grouch, yeah. Grouch, Grouch. Yeah. Um, coming out that you know he knows people who who've seen and got and worked on like alien spaceships and have had alien bodies there. Um, it's just mad, isn't it? It's all coming out. It's all coming out. Uh, let me know in the comment section. Do you believe in aliens or not? Are you a believer or not believer? Let me know. Uh, I believe. I believe there's something out there. I believe there's aliens. We both believe. I believe. My dad believes because he's seen one and he's dead. Um, anyhow, <laughs> let me know if you believe in aliens. No, he's not seen an alien, he's seen a UFO. Yeah. Or maybe he has seen an alien. Maybe. We don't know. Yeah. We could be walking among among them. Well, they could be walking amongst us because we're with them. Oh, yeah, they could be walking amongst us. All right. <laughs> but do you know what I mean, though? Yeah. If aliens are that forward with technology, they could just be wandering around. Looking like us, but they're not. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. That was a film, I think. Yeah. Was that what it was about? Yeah. Oh, I'm not saying it. <laughs> not saying it. Talking about films, though, Nathan's really jealous. Such a You're not jealous. Such a I am going to see Barbie tomorrow. Tickets are booked, as you saw in the morning. Um, premier seating. But, you know, I'm not a snob, but if I'm going to go to the cinema, which is hardly ever, I'm going to pay like a pound extra or whatever for the. Um, uh, what's it called? The premiere. Because nice they're more spacious, they're comfortable. Well, they're comfortable. Uh, um, so, yeah. And it's at the end of an aisle, which I like. I don't like being in the middle. I always like to be near the end. Um, so, yeah, we're going um, at what time? 11.40, um, which probably is 12 o'clock so you get all the boring adverts beforehand. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to that. I'll be vlogging tomorrow, so you'll get to see, obviously not the film, but you'll get to see a little bit of Barbie stuff and in the Odeon and stuff. Um, I did ask him if they had any Barbie displays, because a lot of the Odeons are doing, like, Barbie and Oppenheimer um, things. We can have your photo, but there's no. They did have a Barbie box, like a doll box you can stand in, but some kids ruined it, apparently, which is really annoying. Um, but, yeah, so going to go there tomorrow. I'm going, actually, with one of my viewers. Her name's Faith. And uh, looking forward to see. I've seen her a couple of times um, when she's been in South End. I've kind of bumped into each other. And she's lovely. She's a really sweet girl. So it'd be cool just hang out, watch the film. I think we said we're going to go for like a little drink afterwards. Um, so yeah, I'll be vlogging. I have asked her if it's okay. If she's, you know, featured in the video. And she was like, yep, she's cool with that. So you will see her. Um, but yeah, looking forward to cinema tomorrow. And. Um, yeah, my dad went to see Oppenheimer tonight and he said that it was good, but it went on way too long. It's like a three hour film. I could not sit and watch a film for three hours. I get really bored. I get distracted easily, like easily. So three hours, no way. Um, but let me know if you've seen it, if you liked it. I know it's like a big, big thing at the moment. He said the acting was really good. The story was true to his life because he's read apparently quite a lot of books about this guy. But 
Um, he just said it went on way too long, like way, way, way too long. So uh, yeah, but overall, we give, I think you'd give it a seven out of ten. But Jan likes it more. She'd give it like an eight and a half, I think. So yeah, I've got to be honest with you. I know this is terrible. I know this is awful, but I I didn't know he was. I still don't really know he is. It's something to do with the atomic bomb. The what? Manhattan. Manhattan. Man As in Manhattan in America. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it That's said... what they code named to oh. make a nuclear bomb. Yeah, but uh, uh, he created it then. He helped, yeah. He wasn't the only person. Yeah, but I don't get why they're not making a film about all of them then. Why just him? The, the main yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't really know much, too. I need to learn. I didn't learn at school. I couldn't be bothered. I was just mucking about. I was just not there. Yeah, no, get your education, kids. Don't be like me. It's better than the people who are working on the <laughs> Well, they? they just didn't realise they were working on the bomb. They weren't told what they were working on. Okay. Each person was building a tiny little bit of it. Right. Well, they must have thought, well, what is it that I'm building? No. no. Loose lips sink ships. Loose limp. What? Loose lips. <laughs> Loose limps. Loose lips. Sink ships. That's sink what, ships. That's what, that's what, what are you talking about? Don't, don't ask questions. Don't talk to people. Don't ask me questions. I'll tell you no lies. We've got don't, a... don't talk to people because the enemy could be listening. Yeah. So loose lips sink ships. Loose lips sink ship. I can't I say, I it. say it. Loose lips sink ship. Le- loose lips sink ships. Yeah. I thought it was something to do with the hips. Something on the hips. No, lifetime on the lips. Yeah, that's it. The lips no, on the hips. A moment on the lips. Is a, a moment the in the lips is a hip. Hands on the hips. Hands on the hip. <laughs> God. I don't know. I don't know the hips one, but I know it's a World War Day one. <laughs> So it goes so well, isn't it? Right, get in the vlog. I've got cranberry juice here. It's not wine. Yeah. What is it? No, it's not. I don't even know if wine looks like that. It does a bit. Is it? No? Kind of red yeah. wine. Yeah, kind of. Anyway. But yes, yeah, so thank you for watching. Don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out Mixlaw123 ASMR, my other channel. Links down below. As are all of the links to my social media. That'd be awesome if you could come and follow me on um, the social media. I don't know why I just did that. That was weird. It was supposed to be follow me, but it oh, ended up oh. being like that. Yeah. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Um, and I've got threads as well. What's loose lips do? Threads is terrible. Threads is crap. What's that? Loose lips. What do they do? Loose lips put it on the hips. Loose lips keep secrets. <laughs> Loose lips seek sheeps. Sheep sheeps. Sheep. <laughs> Loose. Loose lips sink ships. Yeah, that's it. Well, I ended up with sinks and then sheep. Yeah, Loose right. link, chink, chink. Wow, oh, my God. God. You're done. I'm done. Right, anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.